10 o'clock, we say 10, 15, but everybody's on fighter time. So usually people show up about five minutes later, but it's all good, they'll be here. Starting to work real hard, kind of getting there. He's been that conditioning, his shape's coming along. Looking for like it every day a little bit better. Yeah, you know it's kind of tough with uh, you know coming back uh, off a big layoff and some injuries. But now yeah, I'm, I'm pleased where it's going. It's this time out. I'm kind of happy where we are right now. Bosch is just a tough kind of all-around guy, you know, that you got to got to work on him. So we're just trying to find an answer to a lot of things that he has up there. So it's kind of like an all-around game right now, and it's kind of taking that approach that uh, you know we're gonna have to just take take wherever he gives. He's got he's got good wrestling. He's a tough you know uh, gritty dirty boxer, you know, there. So we're just kind of getting ready for that. Never ends in this place. Always something new. Got done sparring and now I'm heading to strength and conditioning right afterwards. Gonna go see Todd over at Velocity. I'm not on time because I had to deal with a lot of issues. But it's alright, it's what I'm it's what I'm here for, I guess, to smooth those issues out and make them better. Sometimes we don't want to do the things that that's gonna make us better, okay? So you, we need our teammates to be like, hey, come on, get up, get on the mat, you know? Okay, we're sharpening one another. You know, you know, you sharpen me when you when you get on me, you know? So so get on each other, push each other, say hey, hey, hey get on the mat, you know? Um, try to get the maximum amount you can from this practice, right? Welcome Kaylee Curran. Yeah. Right. yeah. She's uh, thinking about making this her home gym, so um, it's pretty cool having having that. Along with my training, I own this gym and coach a lot of these athletes and there has to be some type of harmony and some cohesiveness on our team. And so I'm kind of the kind of the glue that keeps the team together, I guess, you know. So um, gotta smooth smooth things out. But that's what I'm here for that's what I love doing. I love I love not necessarily dealing with the drama. But as soon as the drama is over and we got a cohesive team and we got one unit moving together, moving forward together as a unit, that's what I love. But I gotta get my own training in. So that's why I'm gonna go right now to get my butt kicked by Todd Norman. I was tired today for some reason. Um, now I'm on this new diet. 
So there's no grains, no breads, no uh, just starches, none of that stuff. So a lot of my carbs are vegetables and some fruits. So that's that's all the carbs that I'm eating right now. It's leading me out, but at the same time, it's kind of zapping my energy a little bit. I need to get down to down to at least 200, walking around 200. Eight weeks before I fight, I had to cut out the oatmeal, I had to cut out the brown rice, I had to cut out the quinoa, I had to cut out all that stuff. That gives me energy. I'm Asian, man. I like my rice, dude. I like my rice, man. What can I say? You know, people say that's my bread and butter. I say that's my rice and soy sauce. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what I do. That's what I grew up doing. Just eat rice. Now I gotta cut that out. I just eat nuts and fish and avocado. Check the clock, yeah. Check your watch. Uh, uh. Something stuck. Whoa, whoa. No time. Back on my mind, I'll be working to a deadline, trying to push up. I get stronger and put on that muscle I, I, I didn't have. Last fight. I can't feel good today. Can we do a win? No. Yeah. Let's do it. Dang. I wasn't really asking. Alright. I'm kind of way from it. Dang it. Time, so I shut it from the start. The start. Cause the hands wait for no man. Already spinning. I don't like these days. I just didn't know if like maybe you like had some bad meals or something that you No. Oh, so you're good. No, well I'm probably we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm I'm we'll see. Last time you I hate these days. When that was, was on that was on March twenty. Come coming at you with the darker shade of white Put the fans that stand for strong work ethic Amy Jack of the rap, keep it eclectic Let it when I sit it in seconds ready to wreck it There bit no credit I paid, you got the benefit that down for Yeah, Mark's doing awesome right now, you know, he came in real heavy And uh, was out of shape and, you know, been dealing with an injury for quite some time And now he's, uh, you know, progressing to where he's starting to get leaner, he's getting in better shape you know, he's starting to get in good shape, he's starting to get leaner, um, starting to get his confidence back, but you know, Still not where I want him at at this point, so I'm just trying to turn it up a little bit on him with uh, trying to tighten up his focus on his nutrition and his diet. It could be challenging for him because he's got to balance all these different facets of training along with uh, trying to lose the weight. You know, Mark's a very busy guy running his own facility. He's got four wonderful kids, so, you know, he doesn't have everything always as accessible to him like a lot of people do. You know, they have time to go grab lunch or do something, but you know, Mark's gotta go get his kid from school or drop him off at sports or something like that. So at the same time, regardless, he's gotta fight on July 6th and he's gotta get ready and um, we're gonna get him ready. Tim Boach is tough, man. He's, um, he's a really tough, gritty opponent and uh, very strong in the clinch, loves the clinch, loves to land, uh, big punches in the clinch and he's just a type of guy that's just never gonna give up. Uh, just like his fight against Yushin Okami, he was, Yushin was getting the better of him and all of a sudden he landed an uppercut in the clinch and the match was over. So I'm looking to go in there to, you know, to one, just take advantage of my speed over him and uh, my wrestling knowledge over him and, and maintain top position and always scrambling. You know, it's getting, it's getting a lot better, man. When I first started out with the layoff and had to sit out for like six months and come back after that. It was it was tough to get back, but now I'm back and now it's it's go 
time. <laughs>